Father Molini, and uh, thanks so much to the Kilo family, uh, all of them, for making this happen. Uh, this is, uh, you know, I just came from another interview. I was thinking beforehand what I would say, and I'm sure I'll forget uh, a lot of what I thought might be appropriate things to say. So, uh, but seriously, welcome to everyone, and thank you all so much. Special event, and we have we have other special events because we have some wonderful residents who are volunteers and uh, make such selfless sacrifices uh, to make Chesterfield a better place to live. So this is a, certainly an exemplary example of, of one of these things that we're talking about. So we're here for the Monarch Heavenly uh, Journey uh, ribbon cutting. Soon take place uh, after, after a couple of us say a few things. So, first of all, thanks to Bob Kilo, his wife Kathy, their son Carolyn, and their son Nico. One hundred and fourth Psalm, we learn, How varied are your works, Lord, in wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Lord of all creation, we give glory today as we honor the gifts you have shared with us. We give thanks for the relationships that unite us as your people, and particularly for the love of mothers, which we celebrate this weekend. Remembering especially Joel Keeper. We praise your gift of the natural world and the beauty it brings to our lives. We recognize the marvels of your creatures and particularly the monarch butterfly, a sign of life, hope, and for Christians a symbol of resurrection. We rejoice in the journeys of our lives, which, like the monarch, leads us to travel with so many, seeking a home, a place of rest, and rebirth. Bless our gathering today and the place in which we gather. May we always find here rest, relaxation, and a hope for a better world. In your mercy we ask this. Amen. First of all, thank you all for being here. I'd like to thank everyone for joining us today to celebrate Monarch Road in loving memory of my mom, June Kilo, known as Grammy June Kilo, to her grandchildren. Thank you to Mayor Bob Nation for the kind words, Father Molina for the blessing, and to each of our city council members, parks, YMCA, and many others involved.
Many of you never had the opportunity to meet my mom. Grammy June can be described as loving, gentle, nurturing, optimistic, joyful, caring, kind, always smiling, and a good listener. My mom was simple about the only thing she'd want you to remember from this event is that butterflies and cardinals are beautiful and you should stop and take the time to enjoy them. Monarch Grove is designed for everyone to relax and enjoy the beautiful view of these quiet waters of peace and to let us reflect and be mindful and celebrate those loved ones with their homes. My mom died unexpectedly in May of 2015. I started this idea in 2018 to find a way to memorialize my mom's legacy as the years that passed seemed to make her memory fade from our daily lives. She had a passion for butterflies, birds, and any community event that she could take my daughter Caroline and son Nico to the Butterfly House, Zoo, Botanical Gardens, Science Center, Missouri Department of Conservation, among others. Thus, I knew that she'd appreciate something that would benefit the entire world. Through my service on the Chester Wood Parks Recreation and Arts Advisory Committee, I first thought about her living legacy program for a match in her memory. But with a blank slate on how to memorialize my mom's legacy into something more, something timeless, something for everyone to enjoy, it just sort of grew bigger and grew broader and blossom in the Monarch Grove. After a worldwide pandemic, a move from the original Monarch Grove approved location on August Hill Drive, the transition of park staff, numerous meetings of Chesterfield and YMCA leadership, and five long years, Monarch Grove is now ready for the YMCA to enhance this area, so our greatest thanks goes to them for allowing our vision to become reality. This picture on my right is from day zero. It was an area at the trailhead of the newly expanded Bavarian Trail. Monarch Grove includes the area before us all the way to the end of that fence line and retaining wall, all the way up to the parking lot. The area by the parking lot and a practically dead three-story ash tree table is now, as well as a heavily damaged pine tree, the fence line is held, and covered in invasive honeysuckle and thick tall grasses. Removing all that created a blank slate to design whatever we could imagine. My family wanted to incorporate native plants, so there are two native wildfire black gum trees and one native carrot tree tree at the top. One is an area to draw monarchs who created Milky Grove. I designed these beds to look like the side profile of a monarch butterfly, with the upper wing and the lower wing and the boulder of the body facing the lake. Next month, the month of June, is National Pollinator Month. So we find it fitting that my mother's name is June as we look upon the four new native pollinator gardens. We also wanted plenty of seating, with a red ADA compliant picnic table with wheelchair accessibility from both ends and natural boulder seating we handpicked from Earthworks Chesterfield from this two-seater facing the lake and a seat for a table with a space beside it for wheelchairs or strollers and a boulder table between the two benches. We custom designed these two benches in cardinal red color to include flowers along the backs to represent our native gardens and wings along the seating to represent the park. We designed the sealed steel sculpture Monarch Way Station, and Monarch Grove is now registered and recognized 
as a certified wildlife habitat by the National Wildlife Federation. You'll see the signage on the fence at the end of the retaining wall down this trail. On the two tables in the parking lot, we ordered many handouts to help raise awareness of, of supporting pollinators and especially monarch butterflies. So please visit those tables before you leave. I'd like to thank my family for their support and input along this journey and my late godfather, John Henry Foster, for being a great role model to me. Thanks to everyone who serves on the Chesterfield City Council, especially including all those that were able to join us today. Chesterfield Family YMCA, including Tim Peters and Jeff Wilson, and to my colleagues on the Chesterfield Parks, Recreation, and Arts Advisory Committee. To Glory Hartsfield, who's with us today, our sculptor, for bringing my vision to life in this original monarch butterfly sculpture. And to Diane Sawyer, for creating these two custom-designed cardinal red benches. And Tony Mattioni of Earthworks for being a great partner. Excuse me, I so if you're gonna stick them together. For being a great partner on these five natural boulders that you see in Monarch Grove and to everyone else involved in this journey. One last note is that some of you may already know that we are collaborating with the Butterfly House and their outdoor native garden for a new addition of a public art sculpture and native planting area in memory of my mom and our grandmother, great Graham Esther Greedy. The sculpture came from our backyard growing up. It's a sculpture of a young woman and an angel cherub, and that sculpture was attached many decades ago to an enormous white oak tree, known by my family as the angel tree. If you provide your name and contact information at the table on the parking lot, we'll keep you informed on that future event and the unveiling of the sculpture, Heavenly Connection, connection Young Woman with Cherub. And we have some representatives from the butterfly with us here today. I have a childhood memory of going with my mom when she played tennis with her friends. Afterwards, we'd often go to the drugstore, and one of my favorite treats was a Russell Stover's Chocolate Mint Dream. I'd like to bring that memory to life, so we brought some mint dreams today to share, and they'll be at the table up at the top of the road. On behalf of our Kilo family, we thank you for taking your time for joining us today. And since it's Mother's Day weekend, we celebrate and celebrate honoring our mothers and the influence of mothers in our society. So now we'll do the ribbon cutting and in a few minutes, unveil our sculpture, Monarch's Heavenly Journey. Thank you. Yeah.